15 years ago when I drove into this valley, all that I really had to give was myself. You and I weren't married yet. There was no kids. There was no Southridge Church. There was no 106 Mainland Court. I mean, it was, there was nothing. And now, 15 years later, we're able to look back and look at everything God's done. In 2013, God put it on our heart to plant Southridge Church. We traveled deputation. We weren't sure how we're going to pay medical, how we're going to pay the mortgage. Stepped out in faith. And then in January 26, 2014, we launched Southridge Church. And you were always so great at making our home kind of the base of operations and inviting people over, doing our life groups here, Bible studies, just getting the whole church through on events. You know, it gave us beautiful family, beautiful church, home. God was like, hey, you have more that you can give me. And it was like, oh, but that's a big ass right now. And I remember just thinking, God, how am I gonna tell Jane that I think you want us to sell the house that we just finally, everything's exactly how we want it. Yeah. And then I remember we were driving back from San Diego and I just kind of was like, so we were driving along the five, just telling you, I think God wants us to sell the house. And you were just quiet for a second. And I was like, Get emotional here. Oh, I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah. What was going through your mind when it was like, well, when I, I felt said like that. at first it was obviously hard because I came prepared. <laughs> it was obviously hard because it's my home. Yeah. You know? This is the place where I brought Austin home as a baby. I saw him take his first steps. The home where I remember there was a period where we couldn't get pregnant. And I just remember going to the garage one one time and I was like you know what, get rid of all the stuff. We're not gonna get pregnant again. We've already planted the church and I'm happy with just two kids. And that was the same month we found out we're expecting. And we brought Cain home that February 2017. This is where he came home. This is where he learned how to walk, took his first steps, um, just so many memories. It was, it was hard at the beginning because I was like, wow, God, like you finally, like you gave us this house. Obviously it was all a miracle in the beginning. And now you're asking us to like give it back to you. And so I was just quiet at first, but then as I look back in my Christian life, I, didn't, I always wanted to give my Isaac and I remember just like writing down in my prayer journal and just saying, God, this is your house to begin with. This was yours. It was never ours. In fact, over the past 10 years, it's always, it was a house church, like literally. And I never wanted it to be in the way where I can't get to the next step. The next thing that God has for me, if I'm not willing, if I'm like clinging on to this. And it took me a little bit of a time to just like process it. And I remember just talking to you and I was like, you know what, this is God's house. And yeah, let's sell it. I think back about what the psalmist said, the Lord our God is a sun and shield. No good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly. And I think this house has been a reward for our family. God has blessed our church. I think the neighbors, the residents of San Jose, what God has allowed to happen in this home. And it's gonna be hard to say goodbye. There's a part of me that is nervous, scared, and excited of what God's gonna do next. Because God always honors faith. And He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. And so we're seeking Him. 
we gave the money so we could build our church property and let's see what God builds and may this home be the first fruit of building God's home.